Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes. Hello lovely people, how you doing? Welcome back to the Glasgow Polo Live. Uh, I'm Scott MacArthur. And I'm Andy Muir. How are you? I'm all right, mate. How are you? No, I I'm okay. My computer's just gone a bit bonkers, but yeah, we're uh, fine. Well, I'll tell you what, we, we almost never had this tonight because um, I'm sure you would say the problem is between the keyboard and the chair, but I uh, had screwed up my mesh network and... Um, it was dodgy, so uh, thankfully a nice man called John Smith came round and fixed it for us, so <laughs> we're working. So hello everybody, I can see there's loads of folk already, thanks very much for joining us. Um, and just in case you didn't know this, we go to uh, we go to Facebook, obviously, where the group is. We go to Twitch, which I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but that's basically a, it's called simulcasting, it's a game simulcasting area that's really growing, and we've got Quite a few people tune in there, believe it or not, from Japan, which is outrageous. Uh, it's going to YouTube, uh, obviously. Um, we get about probably about a third of our audience come from there, and it's going to Twitter. And Twitter's where we seem to get the majority of people, which is really weird. But uh, uh, you think it would be the Facebook group, but uh, so anyway, they're, the, they're the, the 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 places we broadcast to. So, as always, let us know where you are if you're first time here. Let us know your name and where you are. Um, the uh, chat in the actual live stream that Andy and I are looking at is uh, not quite working correctly yet. It's nothing to do with us. It's to do with the, the company called Restream that run it. Uh, so we can't always see your names. I can see most of them. I don't know if you can see them at all, Andy, can you? You just see yeah. a Facebook user, yeah. So anyway, so tonight we've got um, some quite interesting stuff. Uh, it's a bit different again tonight. Um, we've got, we're going to start with a bit of philosophy, rock and roll philosophy in a minute uh, from the group. Um, and we've had um, some really interesting an interactions uh, from folk um, on the Facebook group, which we'll, we'll talk about in a minute. So, so Andy, what's been happening in the Apollo this week? I'll get that. It's amazing, isn't it? In the Apollo. Yeah. Oh, in the Apollo. This week in the Apollo, <laughs> there were... Oh, there, there you go. There was lots and lots of gigs this week. I don't know if this December was the time everyone's on tour, when they make a bit of money for Christmas. Um, but lots of gigs, look, you know, there's what 55 gigs there, so a lot of gigs. Um, <clears throat> this one at the, the top there, the earliest one we got a list the Jimi Hendrix, Pink Floyd, the Pink Floyd, yeah, the Pink Floyd, the move, Eamon Corner, the nice the outer limits, and air apart. That was, um, that would have been some gig to go into. Oh, I mean, God. I was reading, I was reading some stuff about, um, about that gig. This week, um, there's a guy called Stuart Crookshanks on a, a blog, and um, he's a he's a music sort of person. That guy, and he, right. I think he was at it. No, he wasn't at it, but he was at the gig, and uh, he said it was a great. Guy. <laughs> he wasn't at it, you know, but you know what I mean. Uh, he said it was a brilliant gig, and um, really. Uh, you know, they'd waited a long time to go and see the Hendrix, uh, the Jimi Hendrix. So they were they were good. And he said that he said that Pink 
Floyd got booed off, uh, booed off and bought off because he didn't play their hit. And they were they were playing, started to play Interstellar Overdrive. I mean, if you're probably you here, I don't know, would it be C Emily playing all that stuff? Uh, uh, yeah. Started playing Interstellar Overdrive. <laughs> you're probably a bit miffed, you know. But anyway, and there's yeah. an, there's another guy. Um, uh, article to uh, John S Scott John Monroe or John Scott Monroe. He did the Alex Harvey book, one of the Alex Harvey books, and oh, he right. said it was a pretty good, pretty good gig. That one too. Okay. I was gonna is uh, talking about. He's got an interview with um. Jesus, um, I should have taken some notes here. Uh, <laughs> guy from the uh, Eddie Tobin. Sorry, he played there. Uh, he was at that gig as well. And uh, he was in a band called the Bow Weevils with some right. members of Alex Harvey band. He said it was sort of a seminal moment in his life. I bet. For, um, for that. Has anybody been to anybody in like that? There's so, many, there's so many different gigs this Unbelievable. week. Unbelievable. You know, like punk gigs, Elton John, you know, yeah. Elton John, Yes, Steel Ice Band, heaps, heaps of bands, Mud. Lots of bands. Boomtown Rats with another one. They played the same week, a week, a year apart. So oh gosh. I quite like. It's a bit nerdy, but I quite like seeing bands. <laughs> and the dad did that as well. It's a bit nerdy, but yeah. Oh well, I'm a nerd. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> quite. Pretty, yeah. Oh yeah. And we had uh, on the group. Yeah, there was about five thousand, uh, uh, maybe five thousand a hundred users this week. Active users chatting and talking and posting. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Maybe a hundred people joined as well. Brilliant. So yeah. what are we up to? That eight thousand two hundred or something now, mate? Oh yeah. 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 Incredible. So, yeah. Well it's very good. I, oh yeah, and I'm gonna like you know, mm. there's a. I'll give you the top <laughs> top five rundown of top contributors. There's a new <laughs> <laughs> Number one with a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> William, William McCacken, I think his name is. Yeah. <clears throat> he's a new member. So he's, he's got the new member flush. He's putting in everything he likes. So that's good. Um, Brilliant. Derek McCacken, uh, a lady called Moira Connor, uh, John Henry, and our American mate, Jimmy J. Smith. Right. He's um, up there in the top five. Fantastic. You guys are amazing. And I, I'll talk about some of the other numbers that have come up this week as well, because there's, there was a there was a conversation about support acts, which unbelievable. Um, so there's a few things, Andy, I, I thought were really good this week in terms of getting people engaged. And one of them um, was, was this. And this was uh, Steve Flynn posted this. And I don't know if you've seen it before, folks. I'll, I'll read it. Um, the music that touches you in your youth is magnified as you get older. Each record can be a virtual time machine. All you need is to hear this a second or two and you go back to that place and time when you first heard it. It was a brilliant feeling when music touches you so profoundly and stays with you through time. And that was Big Rob Halford from Judas Priest. What do you think of that, mate? I think it's quite relevant to what we're talking about now. <laughs> It does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, when I first read it, I don't know if you're in tonight, Stevie. Um, when I first read it, I went all, no, no, that's not me. Um, then Andy laughed at me and he said, well, what the hell are you doing doing this then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it is true. It is true. I, I think it's true. Um, yeah. I don't I don't know. I mean, I, I, I try my best, and I know a lot of us do try to keep up with what's happening in the music scene. Um, but you just need to look at, you know, something like in mean, classic rock this week. I don't know if you saw it, guys. I'm just obviously it's a rock stuff, not punk or pop. But um, the best, uh, the, the top selling acts were all well pensioners, um, and it was um, it was it was good. But I also feel slightly kind of well, where are all the young acts? And I know they're there, and there's some great bands, you know. But uh, yeah, I always I'll put it back again. I always feel slightly. Uh, I resist my nostalgia, I think that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what are you doing? You embrace it, mate. <laughs> I don't talk shit. I know, I know. I'm, yeah. I'm resisting it. I'm resisting it. Yeah. Um, but uh, 
Yeah, I'm the one that starts crying when he hears certain. I mean, when that uh, when Jack uh, from the Rescued Recordings uh, Facebook group found the the ACDC gig that I was at, where the the fellows about to rock tour, yeah. um, I put on the first twenty seconds when Brian hit the bell, and I was in tears. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it, I was in tears. So yeah, I'm I'm not not going to say anything else because I'm I'm definitely as guilty as anybody else. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what do you think of that, folks? Oh, get some fucking for Germany. Welcome. I can't see your name at the moment. I'm sorry, so I can't give you a name check. Somebody's thanking me for the name check. Is that you, Stevie? Uh, sorry, we're just struggling a bit because this bloody thing isn't working properly. It's nothing we can do anything about, as I said earlier. Yeah. There you go. Hi, Steve. Okay. How you doing? Right, the, the, the other thing that um, came in this week, which... Um, in some ways surprised me that we've never talked about them before spoken about sorry my English has gone to hell. I've only had half a glass of alcohol free beer. Um is this outfit scheme. Um and those of you who are mainly the obviously the Glasgow based guys will know who scheme where are. You need to tell me are they still going? I don't know if they're still going. Um but they were the, they're famous because they were the only band, unsigned band that played the Apollo and sold it out. Um now, I know they were a pretty popular band in the the bars and uh, clubs in Glasgow, but it's amazing that they managed to sell out a venue the size of the Apollo as an unsigned band. Um, I've listened to a little bit of their music. It's kind of reggae-based stuff, Andy. I don't, do you know them any better than I do? I don't know if you do. I don't know anything about them. No. Yeah. But uh, So, guys, tell us about them. I mean, I, I know they had residencies, and uh, there was quite a big uh, conversation in the group about them. And um, I bet these guys are hanging about in Glasgow still if they're still with us. Um, it'd be great to talk to them. It must have been one hell of an experience. I wonder how, the, as you said, Andy, earlier, I wonder how the guy felt standing there with his base just outside the Apollo. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah. <laughs> He's got his base. He's got his base. Yeah. In his feet. But uh, that, that's that's the Mr. Chips behind him, isn't that? I think. Yep. Yeah, I, I, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah the, 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 I listened to a couple. Of, I mean, I, I'm it's not my type of music, but I got a wee vibe of the clash off them. I don't know if that if they were that that punky or but it was that sort of reggae based punk. I don't know if that's right, guys. I'm sure you'll tell me if I'm talking rubbish as you always do. Um, so that was Scheme, and um, I think I saw them actually. He, were they at the East Kilbride Festival? Remember these? Not East Kilbride, um, yeah, East Kilbride. Were they ever at that? No. no. Yeah, don't think so. Frankie Miller and stuff like that. Was it, were they not there? Nah. I thought they were, mate. No, nah, maybe not. I'm maybe dreaming about it. No, I don't think so. No, no. It is the sort of gig that they would they would have yeah. played that, you know. I don't know. Were, were I, they from Easter House? I, I don't know. I don't know anything about them. Um, I mean, I did Google them earlier. But I didn't get. I didn't have time to really read too much of it. <laughs> Hey, I spent two hours doing research for this. Me too. <laughs> anyway, um, the other thing that happened this week, um, and it was really nice. Um, if you remember back in the 80s, there was a, a band called the Kevin McDermott Orchestra. Well, Kevin's been in the group. Kevin's a member. Um, and it's really cool. Oh, no, I'll come back to that comment. Somebody just sent a comment that will help clarify. But it's really nice to see Kevin in the group. And it was quite cool because he was lamenting the fact that he never played on the main stage. I mean, I, I saw him, I think you were there, uh, supporting um, uh, Rod Stewart. I think it was at, was at Part Head, I think. Um, and I saw him again in Edinburgh a couple of times at the Edinburgh Playhouse supporting people. They were a good band, KMO. They I thought were they were a good band, yeah. yeah uh, and I saw them, Sorry? I saw them uh, in Aberdeen, I think, at Ritzy's. I oh, think. It's a hazy it's period of time. <laughs> There was a time when it was like them and Mama's Boy seemed to be the band that was supporting everybody, if you remember. Um, so, no, it was, it was really nice. If you're on tonight, Kevin, mm-hmm. thanks very much for, for getting involved and, and folk really appreciate it um, when you uh, get involved in the group. So it's it's quite cool to see you on. Yeah. So thank you. And um, Steve Halls just posted this. Um, Isco Bride, there you go. Frankie Miller wasted Nazareth. Gla- Glasgow. Glad you remember Glasgow. 041. Yeah. <laughs> Under the lights. That's it. That's right. I thought they were great. Yeah, <laughs> they were really like, good. What, were, what were they like? They were like a bit like Saxon, weren't they? Um, they were quite well, good. I thought they were a bit. 
thought they were in that. In fact, tell me, played for them, didn't he? Paul played for Glasgow he for did, a while. Yeah. Paul yeah. McManus, the drummer. Yeah. Hmm. No, they were a good band. <clears throat> and they played the Apollo. They did. Now tell me about that. They were a warm up for a warm up or something. Well, they were a warm up for a warm up. Yeah. 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 They the played. Game? They played the day. They played on the stage, I think, to get the the sound right for the Kiss gig. Did they? When Jovi supported. Ah, right, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Was one of our one of our uh, contributors uh, sent in some photographs earlier about Bon Jovi and uh, or it was Kiss photographs from Animal Eyes, and he told us that the band that he was photographing before was was uh, Glasgow. Yeah, so they did play the Apollo, but not not as a with an audience. Not with an audience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> would be quite um quite appropriate in two thousand and twenty, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> all these bands. Yeah. The probably, yeah, they probably would be streaming it now, and it'd be you know they'd be making a wee bit of money off it. For them. <laughs> yeah. Well, good for them. But uh, I, yeah. I I thought I used to like them. I thought they were great. I thought they were really good. An interesting thing is that Kevin McDermott was actually up in clouds playing a gig with Haircut 100 the same day as yeah. kids were playing on the main stage. Yeah. That's a bit cosmic. <laughs> that was, that was good, I didn't know that, did I? It was <laughs> that <laughs> day. It was that very day. That was yeah. that very day, yeah. Um, so it's just quite quite interesting. Now, um, let me just... There's a few bits and pieces coming in here, guys. Thank you very much. I'll just... Uh, the Oh... It says here that the singer, singer Denny Oliver, um, died this year. Oh, oh did he? Shame. Oh, yeah. that is a shame. That is a shame. Who said? Sorry, the reason I'm being a bit slow here, guys, isn't it because well, I'm slow, but it's it's actually because the system's a wee bit flaky tonight. Um, this is from uh, Kevin Robertson. I used to be in a band with uh, Brian Geary, who was Glasgow sound engineer. There you go. And uh, who was it that mentioned Denny there? Oh, it was Derek McAdam. Thanks, Derek. Uh, Derek. That, that that's really sad. That, that so. Um, yeah. That's really sad. And um, then we've got someone else who knows Paul. Uh, Steve Hall saying, "Yeah, Paul played with Glasgow after Joe Kilner left the band." Yeah, and Paul's mm. now with, with with Gun. Who just got an award? Did you see that? They just won a big award for their charity no. work. Yeah, they got they got a, a really quite, oh, quite a hmm. fancy thing. Um. And I, I'm delighted for them. They really deserve it. They're one of the hardest working bands out there. Um, and before um, all this nonsense, they were touring like mad. So yeah, Gunner are doing really well. So, so yeah, that that's been that, that, some really interesting stuff. Now, what else happened this week? Um, yeah, now I'm going to I'm going to show you a film now, and it's um, oh here's somebody coming in. About, sorry guys, it's not coming through properly, that's a real pain, I can't see who you are, Scheme played Lars, December 82, broadcasting who declined, oh, did they, right, did they ever get a record deal, does anybody know, if I, don't think so. I don't think they did, no, I can't ever remember, mm. I remember seeing bootlegs um, down the barras, of Scheme gigs, um, but I, I've never ever seen anything um, recorded by them, Right, so I'm going to I'm going to show you. Keep chatting about that, guys. Because I'm, I'm, we're both very interested in knowing more about this. But I'm going to play something. Now, this this will not surprise a lot of folk uh, that we've eventually got to this band, um, because they're one of the few bands that were professionally recorded at the Glasgow Apollo. So tonight we're going to we're going to have a, a, a just a, a single piece of a song about two and a half minutes from the one and only Blondie. Now this is um, this is back. Uh, when they just released the, the, the sort of parallel lines had been a hit and they'd released the album after it. Um, and they were, they're on the crest of a wave, but I've specifically chosen this for a reason, um, which I think will become really clear when you see it. So here's a couple of minutes of um, Blondie live at the Glasgow Apollo.
Good evening, Glasgow. How are you? Well, I thought it was going to be cold up here. As a matter of fact, it's really warm. Yeah? I can't think of a nicer place to spend New Year's Eve. Happy New Year to you. And this is a band that's had a massive impact all over the country in 1979. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Blondie. Thought you'd enjoy the ogre whistle test bit at the start there. That was uh, that was great. Yeah, I loved it it was yeah. yeah, he's brilliant as well. It was, uh, it was um, he looked to be a bit uncomfortable. I thought, uh, standing there. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I would <laughs> yeah. 3,000 Glaswegians. Um, but I thought the the and I mean, that, this is me showing my musical ignorance here. Uh, but I thought Clem Burke, uh, the drummer there was amazing, he was giving it a loudy. Gosh, a good drummer he was. Really good. Yeah. I, I, I've, watched, I've watched the whole show this, this afternoon, and it's a really good show. Um, she, she's quite an enigma, that woman, isn't she? Unbelievable. Well, I, was, I was looking at her hair thinking, oh, that's where Boris Johnson's getting his style from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What's this? Somebody saying there was a clip from this show on the hit list last Saturday. Was that on the BBC One? Good lord! I mean, because I know it gets repeated periodically. Um, because obviously Blondie are still very popular in the UK. Um, yeah, but it's a it's a really good, really really good um uh, gig. When are you guys at it? Let us know if you were at that. Now, whilst you're um, that was Ian. Thanks, Ian. Oh, don't mention Boris. Yeah, but not going to worry. We're not getting any politics. Not getting any, any politics. Um, I got out for that doing another thing the other day. There, I do a, another stream on a Monday night, and uh, I said something. And I, sorry, right? Um, the uh, the other thing that came up as I said earlier. Sorry, I just mentioned in his hair. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I think I know what you're saying there. I think uh, uh, Steve Hall says don't mention Boris. I, I, I I'm with you, mate. But let's let's move on. Hmm. Now, I said I'd come back to this earlier. Um, somebody, it was uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Smith, who you mentioned earlier, put up uh, a, a post about who the best support act was. Now, I know we've spoken about that that before, um, and uh, we've always had a good response to it, but there was a 1,000 people nearly responded to it. There's been a 1,000 comments, and um, it, it, it was an incredible uh, number uh, of different bands and different types of music. And um, We had, like... Quite a common one. Uh, James Reynolds posted it, and, and others. Van Halen supporting uh, Black Sabbath. I've heard mixed reviews about that. I've heard some folks saying they were absolutely rubbish. Van Halen that night, um, and I've heard other folks saying they were amazing. So I don't know. Um, I've actually seen some pictures of that gig as well. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to track them down. Um, we've not got them on the website, Andy. Have we? I had a look. I don't no. miss them. Um, so we might have some, uh, if you're watching, James, we might have some pictures of that. <laughs> then Derek McPherson uh, mentioned uh, Joy Division supporting the Buzzcocks. 
that would be a good gig. I, I like Joy Division, they're brilliant. And the, and the, the Buzzcocks lo wrote a lot of good songs. Um, so that was that one. Then Alan McMenemy, who had before, um, he mentioned Riot supporting Sammy Hagar. I think you were at that, Andy, were you know? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Harvey was, Kenny was. Right, okay. Because I, I remember he came back the next day going, <laughs> that was a brilliant gig. Yeah. yeah. And he had a, we, he had a, we had a much listened to recording of Sammy Hagar at the Apollo. Ah, it's a brilliant record. That's the Led Zeppelin mm -hmm. encores and stuff, isn't it? Oh, I, I used to listen to that on repeat. That Led Zeppelin, whole lot of love ah, on repeat. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Great version. Yeah. Um, here's somebody saying about the Van Halen show here, mate. The Van Halen Sabbath gig was great. I was there as a um, Van Halen where Sabbath won, but Sabbath as great as Van Halen where Sabbath won the night. Uh, and he went and you went home with Aussie shirt. Who said that? That was Steve again. <laughs> well done, mate. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Yeah, very good. And and I mean, we've had another bit of, like this this one. Like, how many times? Do you, just stop. Tell me about this gig. I'm getting I'm getting sick of it now, Linda. Uh, that's from Linda Ayn, who's who was obviously one of these lucky people that went to that Queen Mot the Hoople gig. I wasn't old enough. I wasn't allowed out the house at that yeah. age. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've not met my dad. Yeah. If I'd gone yeah. to that, keep, oh god, uh, what a gig, man! I would I would have loved yeah. to have been to that. Absolutely loved it. And um, oh, here's another one that didn't didn't come up on the website. But uh, who's this? This is David. Uh, David uh, saying Renfrew uh, saying uh, what about Pat Travers and Journey Doubleheader uh, very good I saw well, that would have been a good game. yeah I, I've never seen mm. I, I would have loved to have seen Journey in their heyday I really would have um, oh, yeah. have you heard the new singer well, have you heard the new guy oh yeah he's 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 pretty good, very good. he's pretty damn he's good. Very good yeah yeah, very good. Uh, yeah. but uh, that's well, I was looking at I was looking at this week's gigs um thin lizzie played sunday december the 6th and the support band was sweet savage that was in 1981 oh. i think i think sweet savage oh my mind has just gone blank the guy from def leopard right which one the irish guy oh. he went he played in Dio. ah right okay I'm getting the art. Uh, no. <laughs> you are talking. I'm on alcohol free beer. We cut our brains on the market. But uh, anyway, whilst you're pondering that, mate, another one that oh, comes up a lot, and somebody's just mentioned it um, Skinner Sport and Golden Earring. I'm not that keen on Golden Earring, but I, I absolutely love Skinner. Um, so yeah, that would have been. That would have been a right good uh, good one. And uh, here's somebody just said something about right. Here's uh, Quo. Quo always come up. But the interesting thing is Slade. Slade have had some amazing support acts. And one of the bands that I think we might do a whole show about, Andy, supported Slade. And that was the Sensational Alex Harvey band. Yeah. Um, and Co wow. as well. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. Um, really, really good bands. The other one that came up in the... Oh, there you go. There's well, that, keep me right, mate. I think I was listening to uh, a Slade... Um, rescued recording last week from the Apollo. It was amazing. They're incredible. It was really, really good. Yeah. Incredible. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. They don't get the the rock appreciation that they deserve. I mean, I think because they were so successful as a singles act. I think a lot yeah. of like Queen sometimes, you know, because Queen Queen were much better live than their single in my opinion. Were much better in their on their albums and live than they ever were well these singles yeah. that they had. Um yeah. and here's well, Elizabeth saying um Neil Young supporting the Eagles. Do you know yeah. what? Vivian Campbell. That's right. That was his name. Vivian Campbell. The guy from Neil. Yeah. I think he, he played. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So Elizabeth yeah. just mentioned in Neil Young supporting the Eagles. Oh, the worst two gigs I've ever been at in my life, <laughs> right, was the Eagles at Murrayfield. I mean, it was like, would somebody call me an ambulance? I mean, it was absolutely terrible elizabeth it was terrible um and i remember it had to been for joe walsh uh, i think i my, my intestines were getting closer and closer to coming out my mouth and strangling me the other one <laughs> neil young uh 
I went to see him in Glasgow at that big coo shed. And I right. drove all, I used to live in Elgin and I drove all the way down from Elgin to see Neil Young. I lost my ticket, right? So I had to go to the office and they had to trace my, my visa number. I got the ticket and I went in and I wished I hadn't. It was a racket. It, it just was a oh. racket. And I love Neil Young. I'm not so keen on the Eagles, but I love Neil Young. But it was the crazy horse stuff. And it was like, would these right. guys just shut up? Um, it was like, oh, there's somebody agreeing with me. Hey, there you go, mate. Somebody agrees with me. Elizabeth, agree. Walked out with two new young guys. Let me, I mean, like, uh, what's his name? Bob Dylan. I've seen Bob Dylan twice. I love Bob Dylan. Walked out both times. Just so bad live. Wow. Right. Like, anyway, okay. that's my rant. That's my rant. <laughs> another one. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> there was another one. Uh, Bernadette uh, McDermott. Now, Bernadette, if you're listening, yeah, this goes totally beyond me. And I need to read this one because I've never Heatwave. Do you remember Heatwave? I think I remember Heatwave, disco type thing, weren't they? Disco band. Yeah. Yeah, but then there was a band called they were, they were the Support Act, and it was a band called Taveras. Taveras. Tavares. 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 What was what was that? Sounds like a disease. Disco sort uh, of dance music. Oh yeah, a good laugh. Yeah, that would be good fun. If yeah, if you like that music. Yeah, absolutely. I'd say it'd be a bit cold in the Apollo if it was um, dancing to that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> being taken away to a tropical paradise. Yes, absolutely. Oh dear. Be that yeah. Well, like this week as well. Also, the Boomtown Rats played uh, this week for for punk bands. Remember? That's yeah, amazing. Remember we were yeah. talking about this? Uh, punk bands. Joan Baez. She's number one with the punks. Uh, <laughs> <Boom Town Rat. laughs> the damned and the clash the clash played as well yeah. now i was looking i was looking at the support bands for the clash because i thought they did they had uh like local support bands come up but the two bands the drones and mode mania they were both english punk bands oh, but i it. thought at some point they would bring up they had um or maybe it was the stranglers uh they would bring up like a local Support band, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. they were they were, that would have been um, an amazing gig. Well, that week, I mean, the Boomtown Rats. If you were a punk, the Damned and the Clash in 1977. Jeez, oh. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. That's like the height of punk, really, isn't it? Uh, right. You can see it if you look at that list that you showed that we showed earlier. You can see it on the on the graphic how um, in sort of where is it? Yeah, 77. It just took off, didn't it? Punk. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's sandwiched between yeah. Don Baez and Leonard Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Other forms of music exist, yes. Yeah. But um, what else have we got? Theatre of Hate. Theatre of Hate. Who are they? I've heard of them. Who said that? James. You mentioned Theatre of Hate. Is that a song or a band? I'm not quite sure. That's that. a band. It's a band. I thought it was a bit, mm -hmm. but um. Anyway, so it, it's uh, amazing all these these um these different bands that supported. And I mean, mm -hmm. I couldn't read it all. I spent about twenty minutes reading it, um, and I, I had to stop because there was so much information and folk were remind, remembering bands. So I'll, I'll go back to that list again because it was just. Mm -hmm. um, Is that brilliant? Hey, boogie nights. Is that boogie nights? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Stick to the ACDC covers. Um. <laughs> hey, <come on. laughs> right now we're going to finish uh with a piece of music but before we do that um because I, I, last week when we had the after show chat and you're all invited it's really good fun we just have a natter it's, it's really quite good talk nonsense um just let, just let me do in the 45 minutes doing this but um last week we had a chat about um how people were, were basically dying um and we were starting to lose some of the memories that weren't in the book or that new people, as Andy and I have said before, that we, we get astonished every week at how many people are joining. I mean, it's over a hundred, well, it's an average of hundred people a week that are joining. And um, we had an idea and I just wondered if you, you, you'd you be interested in this folks, what, what we'd like to try um, is to actually get you to be involved in video um, and to try and get you to, or help you or encourage you to, Put a little video piece in to me and Andy um, of of your time at the Apollo. 
it could just be you saying Glasgow Apollo. It doesn't need to be anything complicated. Um, but I'll um, if we get some response, and I've had a couple already um, from the guys on the live uh, on the after show party thing. I'll splice them all together, and um, we can have a a piece on the website that's just us. Um, I think it would work really quite nicely. So if you would like to do that, that'd be great. And if you wanted to do it in detail, you know, uh, uh, give us your name, where are you based? What was your first gig and, and how did it go? What was your favourite gig and why was it your favourite gig? And it'd be quite nice just to capture it because um, people are just keen to not let us, not let us go as we, as we all get old. <laughs> so um, if you'd like to do it, great. No pressure or anything like, but it would be good if you did. Um, yeah. See, that, was the, that was the guys in the after show that came up with that idea. It wasn't me and Andy. So uh, I think it's a brilliant, uh, a, a brilliant idea. Got some more... Uh, feedback here mate here's um this is from linda again hi linda i was at mm -hmm. the own concert amazing I, I i really admire his writing i i um I've, I've read a lot of it i'm very keen on poetry and particularly on the beats um linda um and I, I would love to have seen him live i really would have loved to have seen him live um so yeah i'm very jealous that you, you managed to see him and here's another one here uh, I, I I was too much. I was two or three split bands. Yeah, um, I get that. I get that. It can go on a bit sometimes. And there's one that's so. Oh, what's this? Hold on. I've just got a thing. For, right, Queen Geniuses. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I saw their last show um, at Nebworth um, with a man, and it was and it was great that it was recorded because it, it, you know it was the, the only show I ever saw of Queen. <clears throat> yeah. And um, it was utterly brilliant. Uh, great rock and roll outfit. So, anyway, now I've got one more thing. And what we're going to do again, it's a piece of music from a band that played around right about this time. Well, it was actually today, wasn't it, Andy? The Police. And yeah. um, this was back in 1983. Um, the support act that night was the well known death metal band uh, China Crisis. Um, and then, sorry, I'm doing it again. Sorry, keep shaking. He, he disapproves of me when I'd say things like that, but it's true. No, anyway, no. I saw I China. Like I actually, I saw <clears throat> China Crisis. An ex girlfriend of mine liked China China Crisis, and they were appropriately like they were appropriately named. Um, mm. uh, <laughs> oh God, no, um, they're very good. I like unlike, that. Unlike Haircut One Hundred that we mentioned earlier, who were actually a band full of brilliant musicians, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't so sure about the China. There's a couple of them were talented, but uh, um, anyway, what's this? The question we've got one here. Um, Ian Baird's asking, which uh, I wonder which one individual has played Greens the Apollo more times than anyone else. We've been asked that. I was before. thinking. I actually, I actually thought about this today because I was, right. there was a picture earlier with uh, was it U Uriah Heap? Someone posted something of Uriah Heap, and Bob oh, Daisley yeah. was there. Yeah, Bob Daisley's in there. And I was thinking, oh, right, so he played with Ozzy. He played with heaps of people. Heaps. And then I thought, nah, it's going to be, it's Rick Parfitt and Francis Rossi. I don't know, mate. Because you've got, you, you got the guys. Aye, but you've got the guys from Alex Harvey Band who were in MSG. They were in, you know. Oh, yeah. Aye, so I don't That's know. Right. It, it could be quite interesting to do a, there you go, you're a geek. Go and, go and do some analysis. You're a geek. Thanks for that. You know, I'm good. Hold on. Who's got a science degree? I know, I know. That's a long time ago. Anyway, oh, but, me, me as well. So, so Ian, uh, Andy's going to go and do the analysis, mate, and tell us next week. <laughs> no, he is not. <laughs> there oh, you go. Yeah. Well. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So, see, so. Is that, <clears> It's an interesting question, that. This tally is mounting up. Yeah. <laughs> and here's some nice feedback about the video idea. That's nice. Um, I think it would be nice to see. Um, and yeah. I, I would. I, I think it's something that, if we got it right, folks, I think it would be really, really cool. So please have a go. Just get your iPhone, stare at, look at the camera, and just say Glasgow Apollo if you're nervous. Um, I mean, obviously, we'd like to hear more, but just say it. And don't worry if you make a mistake. I can edit anything out. I can add. I can do anything like that. It's dead, dead easy. So, yeah, thank you. I'm glad you like the idea. That's brilliant. <laughs> How much more work do you want to do? Oh, it's all right. Well, uh, all right. That, that's He's actually given me feedback there because I've been really busy with my, my day job for the last mm -hmm. two weeks. 
And um, normally what I do is after the show, uh, the day after, normally I do an edit, which is where we get the majority of our views. So if you've seen any of these little three-minute things yeah. that I do, um, and I haven't done one for the last two weeks, and the only problem is it takes me about two and a half hours to do each one. Uh, so I've got half a day already, plus this. So I'm going to have to lock myself in a castle and uh, with some whiskey and do it, mate. So I, I, I promise I'll catch up, but uh, do my best. Yeah. Anyway, back to the police. So this this is a... Just a piece of music. There's no video with us. Um, so thanks, Jack, from uh, Rescued Recordings from the Apollo, as always. Um, and again, the police are interesting because, I mean, as, as you know, folk that like music, um, you can't help but, you know, like the police in terms of the, the musical capability of the band. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. And uh, I don't think Sting has is cap was capable at that period in his career of writing a bad song. So, um mm -hmm. He wasn't, was he? I mean, he just amazing. And he's the, the complexity of him. I mean, uh, I'm not going to get into uh, music theory here, but well, because I can't. Uh, but the complexity of the songs sometimes, I mean, nobody can cover them properly. He's just got there's something about him completely unique. So, this, as you'll know right away, as you'll hear right away, was from the Glasgow Apollo. It's only going to be about three, three or four minutes, folks. Um, and then after that, We'll, 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 we'll be off and um, we'll see cheerio and then we'll be on the zoom uh, for the after show chat if you'd like to join us so yeah back and enjoy um sting and the gang here live at the glasgow apollo in 1983 as part of their synchronicity tour Thank you. 
They're not bad, are they? They're very good. <laughs> very good. I think yeah. uh, the drummer... oh, <clears throat> I was. <clears throat> I listened to that later on. There's another. Uh, there's a song called Hole in My Life," right? Yeah. And it starts off, "Yeah, yeah." He goes, "What do they say in Scotland?" And everyone goes, "Aye, aye." <laughs> so he's gone. <laughs> aye. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. Why? Yeah. Why? Why do you think people think it's gl Glasgow? I mean. I've never heard a Scottish person saying Glasgow in all my life. Well, yeah, I've heard Scottish people yeah. say Glasgow. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's Glasgow. <coughs> Glasgow. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, very good, wasn't it? It's very they good. Glasgow. Glasgow, aye, they do. Um, it's all right, I'll forgive him. He's quite, he's quite talented, that boy, Mr. Sting. He's yeah. quite good. I saw thousands of gigs in the Apollo then in the 80s. I joined the RAF. That was the end of my gigging. Thousands. 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 Yeah, lucky so and so. Mm -hmm. Who was that? I'm trying to work out who that was. Hold on, let me get, don't know if you can see Andy. I can't see. It doesn't show. Nah, yeah. some of them it does. You can see here. Look, here's a one from Elizabeth. It shows it shows a lot of and her horse. Um, but here's a uh, you know Genesis supporting Lindisfarne. Goodness gracious, that'd have been good, eh? Um, yeah, that's yeah. yeah there's I'm a guy saying, someone saying English thing that people say Glasgow. Yeah, I see. I thought it was. I thought it was. Yeah, maybe they just hear Glasgow and don't. Hear it properly. <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> How come we don't call them the police? <laughs> that's that's quite right. It's like ZZ Top. Yeah. Hey, we, we shouldn't call them ZZ Top. Should we ZZ Top? Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you yeah, joined yeah. Uh, this week. That was brilliant. Uh, thank you very much for all the interaction. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and what a mix, say eh? We did pop, dance, rock, uh, and, a, and a bit of heavy metal. So uh, not too bad. Um, I hope uh, we see you again next week. Um, if there's any yeah. questions, the uh, hold on, I'll just put the thing on the screen, Andy. There you go. Andy and I are very happy to answer any questions. I've had a, we've had a few emails, uh, which is terrific. If there's anything else you want to know or feedback or anything like that, let us know, uh, and we'll do our best to help. So keep them coming and uh, go on. Who's going to be the first one to send us a video? Go on, do it, do it. Anyway, good night. Cheers, <laughs> all the best. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Bye.